Now check out the rotations. This is actually pretty good defense. We close that down. We close that down. Swing to the wing. Swing to the corner. Dwight gets beat off the dribble and then... Yeah. Option and a different way to score. Coming off base on the screen. Oh, he does it again. Throws it right up with the rim. James comes flying in from the right corner. Mello will go at Kleba. Mello will try the three at the horn. Got it. Yeah, this is called build your stat uh, time now. Dwight, three. Got it. Their average for the season. Um, so you're not going to get it. Oh. Hammers it. 40 seconds to go. Westbrook, the hesitation. Oh, oh the monster jam by Russell Westbrook. So I decided to take two of the most popular series on my channel and combine them into one, NBA player videos and pro-am videos. Now normally when I have pro-am videos, they're like sweaty, try-hard gameplays with money on the line, it's either a league or a tournament. But this is not that. This is more of a casual approach like my NBA player videos. But if you do want to watch competitive pro-am games, follow my Twitch. The link is in the description. I stream over there almost every single night. Big pro-am games, big pro-am matchups, money on the line, competitive, intense gameplays. You guys will love it. So make sure you go drop me a follow. But today, more casual approach. We're representing the new Lakers with Melo, LeBron, Russ, Dwight, and AD. And we're going to do our best to represent the way they play. I mean, listen, obviously it's 2K. You can't make it exactly like real life. But we're going to try to do certain things. You know, run a little Dwight Howard, Russell Westbrook, pick and roll. Let Melo do his thing. LeBron, maybe ISO once in a while. Y'all get what I'm saying. Hopefully y'all enjoy the gameplay. If you want more videos like this, get this video to 10,000 likes and comment down below which team you want to see next. If you want the Brooklyn Nets, maybe you want the Chicago Bulls. Let me know what team you'd want to see next. And like I said, drop a like on the video. But let's get right into it. First, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Video Sleeper. When it comes to hosting fantasy sports, Sleeper is the app for you. Sleeper delivers a completely new, innovative way to go about fantasy sports, and the best part is it's completely free and has zero ads. My favorite part about Sleeper is how interactive it is. Unlike older fantasy platforms, Sleeper has personality and is interactive with social features like text and voice chat. Now, Sleeper still has all the features that these other sites have, like Redraft, Dynasty, Best Ball, you name it. But where Sleeper stands out is it's far more customizable, giving you total control over your draft league. If you're looking for a fresh new fantasy sports experience, click the link in the description to download the app today. Thank you to Sleeper for sponsoring this video. The new look Lakers. It's going to be a fun season. They're going to be really, really fun to watch. Whether you like them or not, they're going to be fun to watch. Beautiful ball movement. Melo with the deep three. Can't get it to go. They get the rebound. But check this out. Instant steal by AD. Throws it down to Russ. Gets the left hand laying to go. The Lakers big men are out here playing defense to start the game. Dwight with the tip in the passing lane, chasing it down, showing he still got some juice in them old legs, throws it down on the break. We go up four to zero. Now, one thing that people are talking about with this Lakers team is that they don't have enough three point shooting. And funny enough, you're going to see in this first half, we actually struggled to shoot threes. Like we're missing wide open threes. Melo open in the corner, can't get it to go. Dwight with the rebound out to AD. He can't get it to go. Dwight with the rebound again. Of all people to finally knock it down, it's Russell Westbrook. And in typical fashion, he's out here amped up. Now, one thing this Lakers team will have is rim protection. You're going to see it here. Carmelo Anthony actually rotates down, ends up getting the block. But this team with Dwight. AD, LeBron, Ariza, Gasol, Mel like they are a big team. They can throw some really, really big lineups. And uh, listen, I don't think this is going to be their starting lineup here. Look at Russ with the and one dunk. But I don't think this is going to be their starting lineup. I just did this for the video because this is the big names, obviously. You know what I mean? Like some of these guys are past their prime, obviously. But they're still, you know, they're still really good players if they if they can fill that role that uh, the Lakers need. But check it out. We get the steal. Westbrook on the break. Hits LeBron in the corner. And what I say? That three-point shooting everyone's talking about? Well, right now in NBA 2K, it is showing out that we are struggling. But look at ankle breaker. This dude drives in, dunks on three people. Hey, that's some typical next-gen gameplay for you. But look it. Drive in. Kick it out. Probably should have took the dunk. Mellow wide open for three. And we finally knock down an open three ball here in the first quarter. We got a minute to go. We got a one-point lead. They hit a backdoor cut. Get the easy land. They got a one-point lead. So it's back and forth here. Little Dwight Howard, Russell Westbrook, pick and roll behind the back. Go up. Throw it down on two people. That's looking like a young Russ. I'm not going to lie. That's looking like a prime OKC Russ right there. But again, you know, it's next gen. So yes, there's going to be a lot of dunks. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. But 
Westbrook has the playmaking takeover now. A little hezzy step back drive in and woof, that boy still got some bounce in them legs. Hezzy step back again, drive in. They're not even helping now. They're just giving up the two. So Russ is just out here cooking. So we got an early three point lead, but our opponents are going to make a run. He just kind of wiggles his way into the paint, goes up, gets the land. Then transition buckets start to kill us. This guy off on the break, big greens from deep. And then off on the break yet again, they're going to hit him in the corner, catch, pop, big greens, and they are not done. Now down in the half court set they're gonna run a little cut from the top of the key kind of slip the screen i don't even know give and go give and go give and go alley-oop gets the dunk and just like that, we go from up three to down six. Russ being the veteran point guard that he is, he knows we haven't got AD involved at all. So we're going to hit AD on the baseline cut and he's going to throw it down on two or three defenders there on the baseline. Get us a little bucket, cut the game back to only a four point lead. But they go back to their little, I don't know, five out, but just like random cuts and movement type of offense. And they end up getting a dunk. Dwight on the roll from Russ, he gets the dunk. So it's back and forth trading buckets. Four point game. This guy drives in again. I mean, it's just dunk after dunk after dunk. The Lakers defense is looking suspect right now. Quick dot, LeBron wide open, big greens. LeBron's going to go from scorer to facilitator just like that. And I don't know if y'all been watching Dwight Howard's IG lives, but this man has been working on that three ball and it's showing because he's knocking it down from the corner. That is halftime and it is tied 29 29. So we're going to come out and we're going to get LeBron involved. We, you know, we watched a lot of Russ and Dwight pick and roll action in the first half. We're going to get LeBron going in the five out set and see if he can start to make plays for himself. And of course, for others, you know, LeBron is a uh, pass first type of player, but they come right back and get yet another dunk. But LeBron's going to come down. We're going to set up in a le legit, just a straight up five out set. Everyone just letting LeBron go one on one and we'll see what we get. We end up getting a quick dot to the corner. His favorite target, Anthony Davis, knocking it down. And we got a three point lead. Steal off the inbounds by Melo. Hits LeBron. He knocks it down. So LeBron comes out and he's just taking over. They got to call a timeout. We go up by six to start the third quarter. Beautiful start. Can't ask for anything better than that. Here we go. Bump steal. Melo with another defensive play. If Melo comes out and he's playing defense like this, we're going to be all set. Westbrook on the rack attack. But they're going to find a way to calm the momentum down. So he gets the steal from behind on LeBron. They go off in transition. Now check out the rotations. This is actually pretty good defense. We close that down. We close that down. Swing to the wing. Swing to the corner. Dwight gets beat off the dribble. And then... Yeah... So after that, we're going to give it to Melo. He's going to do a hezzy drive in, do like a left hand running floater type of layup. You know, it's Melo. He just gets buckets. But we do a little Dwight Howard lob spot play and it's wide open, but it's 2K and the ball misses. They get the rebound. Transition three. Bang. Tie game. You know, that's like a typical Lakers play. Dwight in the lob spot. LeBron finds him after collapsing the defense. But, you know, hey, it's 2K. It doesn't always work out. LeBron's going to get the block. He's going to throw it up to Anthony Davis, who's going to lob it up to Carmelo Anthony and throw it down maybe you know maybe is Melo still catching lobs these days uh, i don't know maybe that's got to be like a new york knicks denver nuggets type of carmelo anthony play i don't know i haven't seen Melo catch a lob in a while but i'm sure he still can westbrook out here hitting threes we go up by two with less than 30 seconds left in the third quarter again just they they just run a lot of cuts and we weren't we were not locked in ready to guard this type of cutting and driving and I, I don't know but it's made for a very very good back and forth game all right so the tight game into the paint out to the corner mellow at the buzzer knocks it down we got ourselves a tie game 49 to 49 going into the fourth quarter we couldn't ask for anything better we couldn't ask for anything better for this video right new, new look lakers tight game How's the fourth quarter going to go? It's going to start off with LeBron contact dunk. Then this guy doing snatchbacks gets an and one dunk. So now they have a one point lead. LeBron hits Melo. Melo hits Dwight. Dwight for three again. Yes, Dwight Howard out here shooting threes. Listen, it's 2K. All right, get over it. I know you're going to be in the comments. Dwight doesn't shoot threes. Well, he's actually been working on it. And he has hit some in his career. He shot 25% last season. So, but we get the steal. We get the alley-oop. Now we're going to force the miss. We get the contest. Unfortunately, they get the offensive rebound. They're going to hit the top of the key hit the corner decks wide open knocks it down but we got something coming back for him listen i think in crunch time this is how the lakers are going to be lebron's going to have the ball in his hands which is going to be interesting to see where does westbrook go right now i'm just spotting up on the wing lebron gets the dunk lebron dwight pick and roll lebron finds westbrook pulls up from deep it's white and he knocks it down westbrook with another clutch shot ankle breaker snatch back dunk again i mean listen it's 21 next gen it is what it is but come back this time it's Russ collapsing the defense, finding Melo. He knocks it down. Clutch three by Carmelo Anthony. Again, trying the snatchbacks. This time he can't get open. 
we're going to say at this point, just make the dude shoot a jump shot because he has just been rim running the whole game and yeah, he misses. So we get the rebound. They foul. Going to come down. We're going to hold the ball. They have to foul again. You know, we got about a minute left. We're up. They're going to have to foul. So we just hold the ball. We knock down our free throws and we have a seven point lead right now. So he's going to drive in. Great defense by Anthony Davis. Unfortunately, this dude gets his own rebound yet again, but throws a dumb pass. We get the steal up ahead. LeBron to Russ throws it down. And that is basically going to seal it. We got a nine point lead now. At this point, it's just, you know, don't give up threes manage the clock all right so they take the two as long as we get it in bounds they got a foul hold it they foul we make our free throws and that is game 73 68 now as i said i know it wasn't the most sweaty you know best competitive gameplay you've ever seen from pro am but we tried to make it as interesting as possible obviously for the video especially using the real nba player animations you know just to try to make the players look more like themselves you know the dunk packages the dribble moves we didn't use the jump shots because some of the jump shots are just way too slow but besides that we tried to use as much as we could but hopefully you all enjoyed, man. If you want us to do this again, get this video to 10,000 likes. I'll look down in the comments and see what teams you guys are requesting. And we'll go from there. All right. But hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.